video. Oh, this is funny. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause anytime during playback. Aria Talok, Omega. Zoom in. Play. Next. Emily Wong. Citadel. She's just dancing away. Fred Mazai. Citadel. I have no idea who that is. He's just talking to himself. Totally not. Citadel. What? Why? Did he do that? Armando Bailey. Citadel. Good guy. He's just watching the horizon. David Anderson. Citadel. Next. Praetor Gavon. Omega. Ah, uh, Captain Gavon. The Vorcha Task Force. Have been seen on this should be fun. Oh, she just flew. Caper 20. Citadel. Uh, did it kill that guy? Or what's the story? Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. And she's looking at a picture of Liara. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Oh, oh, oh. They're just eating. Elias Kellum, Omega. I know that guy. Wait, I thought he was. Jacob Taylor, Normandy, SR2. Uh, he has um, cameras on the Normandy. Is he using this as like a fat material? Subject zero, purgatory. Ship now defunct. Yeah, she's pretty strong. Okay, that's it. Bye. Now I'm gonna talk to Liara. Uh, move away, please. Thank you. Liara. Sony. Hey. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. Too much? If you're in over your head, you could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Be careful. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You sure? You know, relatively speaking. What you got? Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. His species? How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-spaceflight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. 
They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's your friend? How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? We're just friends. Commander, are you jealous? If you're concerned, maybe you should do something about it. Uh... Should I dump Miranda? Let me decide Why was that. he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Brokers seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Screw Miranda, I'm not gonna run with you. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. I know. But you have someone. I spent two years hunting for the Shadow Broker. I need to find out what happens next. Maybe someday we'll be together. But for now, you deserve to be happy. Uh. You know what, screw it, let's stay with Miranda. At least let me take you out of here. You can see the new Normandy. Maybe have a drink. I'd like that. Let's go now. Good. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Wow, Alien Covenant trailer just released. I mean, teaser trailer. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask me to record any parts of our conversation where... my eyes do that freaky black eternity thing. <sighs> of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. Thank you. Actually, these aren't mine. It seems like forever since I was an Alliance soldier. First I got tapped for the Spectres, now Cerberus. You succeed against odds most people wouldn't even take on. It's no wonder everyone wants you on their side. But I know it wears on you. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. I'm frustrated, actually, by the fact that the elusive man just manipulates me. All of it. Honestly, I'm tired. Tired of dealing with Cerberus? Tired of the Council ignoring me? Tired of my closest friends not believing me? Yes, I heard about what Caden said on Horizon. I'm sorry. But their short-sightedness doesn't diminish what you've accomplished. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. It was just a setup. It wouldn't have been hit. You know the worst part of it? Cerberus planted intel to lure the Collectors there. Horizon was bait. Those bastards. They'd have hit another world if we hadn't lured them there, but... Aren't you gonna tell me not to work with them? I gave them your body, remember? What should I say? And I trust you. You'll stick to your beliefs no matter what Cerberus wants. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? The future of humanity? As evidenced by the perfect Miss Lawson? Life everywhere. I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. 
I should get back to my base. But thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. That was the most awkward hug ever. No, not no, not really. It wasn't. It just looked like it with uh, their bot. Whatever. Come just back ignore soon. me. Wow, he looks so depressed right now. So do I actually, because I just realized that I won't be romancing anyone in Mass Effect 3 because of what I've just done. Okay, so who's even left to talk to now? How's How the crew? Is there anything you have I should unread. Do? Anything else, Command? It's all okay, so Commander, let's look at my terminal. Message at your private terminal. Pleasure to meet you from Admiral Delozen Vasnore. Shepard, I've been digging around the Alaray. Just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Rael Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim... Uh, uh, not just their homeworld, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Raul Zora's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what it started. Cordially, um, Admiral Daryl and Bless Mora. That's a bad idea. So, I have no idea who I'm supposed to talk to since it's been like a week. I'm pretty sure I'm done with Miranda. I'm done with Garrus. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to talk with me anymore. Commander. Uh, sorry. Yes, Shepard. No, nope, sorry. About the people Much of that data is... Logging you out, Shepard. Uh, anyway, uh, Morden, I'm pretty sure he's done. Grunt's done. Jacob's done. Uh, Miranda's done. Jack's done. Thane or Samara may... It's always nice chatting with As you. As I said, Thane or Samara may not yet be done, but I don't know. Let's see, who's left? Oh, Tali... Thane, Samara, Garrus. Okay, so those are the guys I'm gonna visit. Afterwards, I'm just gonna explore this cluster slash system slash nebula slash whatever. And then I'm gonna split it with the first part of the exploration and do that something. thing. Have a few minutes later. later. Okay, bye. Return to my meditations. Uh, on that side should be Samara. Hello there. I thought we could chat. I would like that. Oh, okay. You have been a good friend to me. Glad we're friends. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. And this was her final conversation. What does she have to say now? How are you? Perhaps we could speak. Okay. Of course. Uh, Garrus is done, I would assume, though I'm not entirely certain. Let's see. Shepard, have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Yes, I'll okay, so now the only one left is Stali Zora of Os Normandy. Afterwards, we're gonna go to the captain's cabin, feed the fish, explore a bit, and split it, split, split, split it, split. Engineering. Let's go to Tali. Hey. Have you got time uh, to Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little boschet. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. How sick? You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. So... How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. 
nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. So how are you sick? How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alleri. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Good. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. And other planets? But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. Life like that sounds difficult. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I trust you too. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for, um, intimacy. Oh, I wasn't trying to, it's not always like that. It's more, um, how did we even end up talking about this? Are you making a pass at me? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. Tally, that's really sweet, but I don't feel that way about you. I'm sorry. Wow, very sensitive, man. Right, right of course not. But why would you? It was just something I meant hypothetically, talking about immune systems and air filters and such. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. You insensitive fuck. <laughs> no, seriously. Why would you be so insensitive? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. That's sweet, Tally, but I'm not interested in you. That's so, that's so insensitive, man. I mean... Really, you could have at least softened the blow, you know? I should have said it's too dangerous. But that's, that just sounded like he was mocking her. Okay, so the fish have been fed. Now let's explore this cluster. I have enough um, minerals to last me a lifetime, so I'm not gonna worry about mining all that much. Just exploration till I get it 100% without any anomalies. Then I'm done. I got a lot. What the hell? Why is it called Hagamelite? Yeah, see, I have over 25,000 of each mineral. That's good enough for me. There's six planets here. I'll just discover them real quick. Hopefully there's nothing too interesting anywhere. Because I really want to see the Alien Covenant trailer as soon as I can. La 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 la. Where's the last planet? Hold up. Uh, da -da -da -da. Not there. Oh, it's probably down south. Yep. You haven't detected an anomaly, that's great. Okay, so... Oh. So, it was in the Hourglass Nebula, which is luckily already explored. 
that case. Let us move to the next nebula as soon as we refuel and stuff. Where to, I wonder? Let's go, let's just go to the Krogan DMZ. And we'll split it there. There we go. Hope you have fun, and we'll see you in a while.